Agassi. What do you mean you resigned from the fan club? I mean, just because Hugo Peabody gave you his pin does not mean you have to retire from all of your social life. <sighs> Going steady is very important, but there are some things more important than very important. And the Comrade Brody fan club is one of them. I mean, where else can us girls gather together to worship that wonderful creature? <laughs> I mean, do you realize what you'd be giving up, Kim? I'm sorry, Ursula, but my mind's made up. Of course I'll still play his records, but things like the Pledge and the Conrad Birdie Scream are past me now. You're giving up the Scream? You mean when Conrad Birdie sings on television, you're not going to go, ah! Oh, Kim. Kim, dear, would you please get off the phone? I've got some calls to make. In a minute. I'm sorry, Ursula, I've got to go. You'll tell all the other kids, won't you? I suppose I'll have to. Bye, Kim. Wait, Kim, are you sure? I mean, after all, I mean, really, Kim, are you absolutely sure? Positive. Besides, I'm 17 years old, and it's time I'd settle down. <laughs> when you're a skinny child of 16, wired with braces from ear to ear, you doubt that you could ever be Seventeen and the braces disappear, and your skin is smooth and clear, and you have that happy grown-up female feeling. How lovely to be a woman! The wait was well worthwhile. How lovely to wear mascara. Smile, a woman's smile. How lovely to have a figure that's round instead of flat. Whenever you hear boys whistle, you are what they're whistling at. It's wonderful to feel the way a woman feels. It gives you such a glow just to know you're wearing lipstick and heels. To be a woman and have one job to do to pick out a boy and train him, and then when you are through, you've made him the man you want him to be. Life's lovely when you're a woman like me. How wonderful to know. Oh, by the way, Doris, have you got a cigarette? <laughs> I seem to run out. 
I'm not an old man. I was 18 in World War II. Conrad Bertie is coming here to kiss me. Thank you. <laughs> Now put your head on mommy's shoulder. No, but you don't. 